Annex is a dumb magic card, yeah. Pretty mediocre hand, but I think it's good enough to keep. better against a 4-4 four four. but I might be playing a bit scared it's also just more damage I guess we don't have a removal or anything Dude, I think that blue black deck might be our only loss, Varus. Maybe it's your time to shine. Maybe Standard is finally ready for blue black. card you see in every list. When did that deck, blue black deck played? Tyrant Scorn, Murder Strider, Rachel of Set main deck. I didn't see Saudi, I didn't see, see Thai Racer. Ashiok, Five Man Ashiok, um, Atris, Kefnet. I think that the one black card that was kind of sweet. The, Clinch or clinch something, the, the one that exiles and that has escape. That the one man, oh yeah, they had drawn in the lock and the one man of Francis. Oh wow. Did we just lose? I think we just lost. Jesus Christ, that was brutal. So I can attack, get a lot of damage in. I mean. I think I get two one ones. I've cut back on Thotty Racer and Blue Bag down to two copies. That seems so so insane. Like, I mean, maybe it's right, but if you're were not to play as Thotty, for Thotty Racer if you're playing. Even the Salt Islands play for Thotty Racer, I think. The one that's been doing well. Okay, I can put them down to two. If the attack was Uro, I mean, they should just attack with Uro. It's gaining them free life, anyways. Alright, Chad, we need Torbrand or Bone Crusher Giant. I think that might do it actually. Oh no, it's one short. They could have blocked two one on a token and Oh, is a Steam King free power? Oh, it was free toughness, yeah. And they assigned to something? Looks like this. Oh, 
Oh, they threw the Nissa of the Uro? Brutal. Is that gonna be enough though? I mean... I don't think Crace is enough, is it? If they have two blockers... I guess I only have six damage if they have two blockers. They can only play four for Crace's, go up to six. Crisis is not good enough. They need like, I don't know, we'll see. I'm not gonna stress it. Should probably do a quick promotion for my sponsors, Cardinal Live. That's the app that's on the screen that lets you see my deck list. They do pretty amazing work, and um, also Channel Fireball. And they're running uh, an online series right now, for those of you who haven't heard. Basically, Magic Fest Online. There's daily qualifiers, and then there's a weekly finals, and then there's a season final. Pretty cool stuff. If you want to play competitive tournaments online on Arena and Standard, check it out. And they have a stream, they have a stream like twitch.tv slash channel firewall 24-7 coverage of the tournaments. Yeah, they tried. They did what they could. That was the hand, that was the key to like no one drop, no two drop hands. Like, it's not a great hand, but you just have to keep them. I guess Arena uh, just decided to restart for me. They're like, you haven't restarted that Arena in several hours. Force you to restart. What were we playing against, by the way? Oh, Sultai. Been kind of copying Sep there and doing some planeswalkers for some two drops. So. Wow, I'm in love. I might have to play some uh, some Esper in Modern. Modern prelim. 2020202021 deck felt really nice. Dude, cling to dust main is that card just the technology? That's what we lost to in standard. I mean they didn't win because they had cling in their deck, but Kaya's Guile, as for Charm. Wow. That analyst looks super nice. Not fan of deprived though, but Well, we might have not. We might not have to worry about ritual upset or crab or carnarium and death paradise right in their deck. Thing is, with Sklinge, is like it doesn't cantrip, right? If you don't have a target in your opening hand and stuff. But... Have you played with that card a lot, Varus? Is it actually good? I wonder if I'm supposed to trade here. I'll offer the trade. Rough. So I can crush that. Play robber. Go 
green, green, blue, blue. The Venuru that comes back next turn. If I kill Paradise Druid. Wow. This is gonna be rough. Maybe I just maybe I just don't kill Paradise Druid. Maybe I just play Robber. I think I'm definitely playing Robber. And just attack with everyone and see what happens. Oh, I didn't get a card of Robber. They're at eight. If they bring back an Uro, they go up to 11. I'll have a Rimrock Knight attack with everyone. One down to 10. That's six, that's 10. I mean, I'm assuming that's gotta be the play. It's just lethal if they have Ura, right? They block... They block one of the fours. Yeah, I have exactly lethal. Ten. Block one, take... One, two, three, four, five, six, ten, yeah. Close. Quick math. Quick EU math. Why not play giant and activate oh, what? They're just dead on board. Crag the top 20. It's going slowly now. Free ranks by free ranks. It's been a while since I've been that high on the ladder. I'm not even sure what my highest rank is. I think I've been in the top 10 before. I don't think I've been in the top 5. I might like never be in the top five ever again. Just too many games, I think. All right, well, I think there's a limit. This is it. Sam's not great. Um, hmm. Get rid of Cleave. Could have gotten rid of Cleave. You guys think we can hit the land? Just whitelisted. Oh, good old whitelist. Easiest <laughs> money of my life! Probably would have lost badly too if I had hit like land, 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 like a lot stack. I 
absolutely perfect. <laughs> Questionable uh, at the best. We need stinky bone crusher giant. Why did we say a Rimrock, Rimrock Knight in this matchup? I wonder how late I'm gonna be up. 20 minutes ago I said I would play until I lose one. I should jinx it, I should, should change the title to top 20 on the ladder. A little clickbait. Content on the loss though. Uh oh, I'm hooked. Um, how do we play this game? First, I give my hand away. I guess I could think I have Rimrock Knight tanking on the Rimrock Knight. That could be the next level bluff. I can melee into Steamkin. Is that even that good for me? I kind of want to just use my Bone Crusher. I don't know, we'll see. I'll try to play it slow. See how that works out for me. Yeah, I kind of need melee for Torbrand and Anax, but... Let's play Anax, right? Just good blocker. Or play Bone Crusher Giants. Now I can maybe... Now we probably know they don't have Anax. They could still have Anax. I could go Steamkin Redcap melee now. Because they could have still have Lavacol in their deck. Play this team again first. Kind of obvious what I have, but Phoenix. We draw a little one damage. Bzz. Let's see if the Phoenix ends up being any good for them. Hmm. So I could attack with both. Sacrifice my champion to get Ember Cleave in play. How much damage is that? Lots. I mean, what else am I gonna do? To play Bone Crusher and attack with Anax too. Uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. to get the one one mm, fair it's a fine block I 
I didn't really think too much before blocking. Seemed fine, but... I guess a trade guard wouldn't have Emerald Cleave in hand, right? Probably just... Are you just dead? No. Whoa, 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 whoa. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Fourteen. Wait, they're just dead, right? And I'm not even dead on the backswing. Yeah, 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 I almost missed it. I was like, as first I was gonna attack with everyone, was I thinking it was lethal? Then I was like, oh wait, if I don't have lethal, they might kill me. But not really. Uh, Phoenix was not very impressive. I feel like I've had Exaxes a lot. I guess that's what happens when you play a red deck, but it's kind of nice when you're not the one point short. 